In this video, I will show you how I create my digital products. First, we will talk about some of the types of digital products only briefly that you can create and sell. Then I will show you a few examples from my own digital products and how I created them, what tools I used and what was my workflow. At the end of this video, I will give you some advice about yourself, how you can figure out what digital products you might create to change the lives of others and also for some extra income. So to understand the complete process of creating a digital product, you must watch this video till the end and I'm sure that you will learn few new things. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I have been creating various digital contents for the last few years. On this screen, I have listed some of the most popular digital products. Now, before we talk about all these digital products, one thing I would like to mention is that our main focus should be to change the life of someone from our digital product. And the main focus should not be on making money. But of course, because you have invested time and effort, so you can adopt strategies to get some extra income but your product must be of high quality. It must be able to bring your student from point A to point B and change their lives. So in this list, as you can see that the top of the list is online courses, which is a very popular form of a digital product, but I'm not going to go into detail of this topic because I have made two videos about how to create online courses and one video about what tools I use to create my online courses. And I will put these three videos in the description of this video. Because in this video, I'm trying to show you how I create my other digital products. Another thing that I will put uh, in the description of this video is the ultimate checklist for online course creators, which is also a digital product I created for my subscribers. You can simply click on the link in the description and you can download this PDF that will help you understand what are the important points when you are creating an online course. Now, online courses are probably the most time consuming product you can have. And now let's see some other options because I think that in the beginning, you should try some of the other options I have shown you. And we will discuss this at the end. Now let's talk about eBooks, low content book and no content book. eBooks are electronic books are those books that people read on their electronic devices. And sometimes you design a digital product, but Amazon and other booksellers send physical products to your customers. These are called paperback books. Previously, the authors had to print, let's say 500 or 1000 books for their customers. And then they have to sell on bookstores and shops. But now the technology has advanced and Amazon can print a single book in a cost effective manner. So your product is digital, but Amazon will send the paperback book to your customers. Now, low content books are those books in which only have few hundred words. These books include log books, timesheet books. There are some checklist books, for example, house buying guide and these kind of things. Then no content books are just notebooks, calendars and these kind of things where there are no content, only probably date and page numbers and these types of things. So these low content and no content books were very popular few years ago, but now people have misused the technology and they flooded Amazon and other booksellers with duplicate products. So what they used to do is they simply change the cover from a notebook and then interior is the same and they make hundreds of different notebooks which only differ in the covers. So now there are millions of books on Amazon and this is a very competitive field. But still, if you are willing to do that, you can find a niche and you can still make some low content and no content books. Now, this is my author page on Amazon KDP. You can have multiple pages and Amazon also allows you to have multiple author names. I am not very active in creating Amazon KDP books. Mostly I create my online courses, but still I have nearly 20 digital products on Amazon KDP. And now I'm going to show you some of my digital products and the tools I use. Now, this is one of the simplest products I would like to show you. And then we look at some others. This is a 
लॉक बुक दैट आई एम सेलिंग ऑन एमेजोन के डी पी एंड दिस प्रोडक्ट वॉज क्रिएटेड इन पावर पॉइंट एंड द रीजन आई यूज पावर पॉइंट इज दैट ऑन एमेजोन देर आर अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट साइज इज अवेलेबल बेस्ड ऑन वेदर आर नॉट यू आर यूजिंग ब्लीड एंड देर आर सम अदर टर्म्स यूज फॉर प्रिंटिंग बुक्स सो आई फाइंड इट वेरी इजी टू हैंडल दीज साइज डायरेक्टली इन पावर पॉइंट and this is the actual product but in order to upload this product to amazon i only have to do one thing i have to click on file then save as and then instead of powerpoint presentation i have to save this file as pdf so this is the only step i have to do in powerpoint and then i can upload that pdf and the only thing i will need is the cover page and again there is a calculator available on amazon website about the cover pages for example this book is of 6 into 9 inches and i can find the cover page from amazon calculator and then i create that cover page in canva and let me show you two more products one is a low content book and the second one is a pdf guide this is a puzzle book which i am selling on amazon and as you can see that it has some word scrambled puzzles in which all the pages on the book are same their style is same but they still differ of course in words and some other amount of content that they have now i create these pages in canva and as you can see that these are the pages of this book and i designed these pages individually in canva when you are doing so one thing you should keep in mind that because it is going to be a book so odd number pages are different than the even number pages in margins their left and right margin should be different because there is more margin on the right side of a right handed page and on the left side of a left handed page on a book other than that all pages are similar but because this book also has some content in the beginning and i also want to have an index so therefore i use canva first and then i use another document preparation system that is called latex and this is the latex file of this product and in this file i am inserting all these pdf pages that i have created in canva so simple one line statement to insert a page in latex you can download a page in pdf from canva and then you can insert in this latex file and then you compile it simply by pressing this button and the advantage is that you can get index you can add some text and because latex is the best document preparation system so the font quality is professional which i am going to show you in the next example and it looks perfect and it produces pdf directly so you don't have to do anything further simply upload the pdf and the cover page and your digital product is ready now this is another example this is a pdf guide which i explained earlier that you can download there is a link in the description of this video about this guide This guide is a checklist for online course creators and these two pages the first page and the second page I created these two pages in Canva because I needed some of these graphics as you can see here both of these pages have some graphics and some professional quality fonts and then this book has an index and then there are some instructions and this text is very hard to produce other than latex because this font is specific to latex also there is a very closely related font available in canva and other word processors but this latex form looks very professional because this is designed for professional quality printing so therefore whenever there is a considerable amount of text in my digital product i always use latex so mainly these are the three software which i use for these types of products powerpoint canva and latex and if you learn these three i am sure that most of the digital products that i mentioned on my first slide you can create all those and the products which are mentioned in white color in my initial slide those are the products that i have personally created using these three tools and you can also do the same and i have also walked through two of my more products in other videos one product is a diary for phd students i have made a separate video for that and the other product is a youtube content planner 
which I am selling on Amazon and I have also made a separate video for that product because I don't want to hide my products. Whatever I am creating, I like to share with my subscribers. And now I will briefly go through the other digital products mentioned on the list. And finally, we will discuss how you can figure out what digital product you might want to create. Now, let's talk about PDF guides. I have put my PDF guides on a platform called Gumroad, which is also a very good platform for selling digital products. And this platform is growing at a rapid speed. So let me show you a few of my products. So I click on dashboard and this platform gives you the statistics, how much traffic is coming to your page and what are your sales which is very good and this is my statistics how much traffic i am getting from my youtube channel and some other sources and now i click on products and as you can see that i have only four or five products on this platform and only two have made few sales other two products have never made any sale which is fine because 2080 rules apply in most cases and normally 20% of your digital products will make 80% of your revenue which is very clear from this statistics. So the next digital product we are going to discuss is teachers presentation. If you are a teacher you can create some presentations for teachers which you can sell on TPT which is a platform for teachers mostly from US. They have fundings to buy these types of resources for their schools because they need fresh content to teach their students and therefore every year they buy fresh content, new presentations, new quizzes, some mazes and there are a lot of other products which you can create very easily. I think this is the most easiest way to create digital products in particular for teachers who used to make presentations and other things. So this is the one presentation I'm going to show you. I am selling this product on TPT and few copies I have already sold on TPT. So these are simple presentations you can create on Canva because you might need some graphics and these kind of things. So Canva is the best platform and then you can download as PDF and simply upload on TPT. They have very few requirements and within five minutes your product will be uploaded on TPT. They don't have very complex system, very simple system and it is a good platform and I think still there is a lot of potential because the platform is growing in other countries and you can make use of this. There are few types of digital products that I have not created yet but I know about those. Just briefly, if you don't want to create videos or you think that it is difficult, you can also create a podcast where you can share your experience and the membership and coaching business is normally suited for those content creators who have developed a certain size of audience. There is no particular size, but I think that at least 10,000 followers if you have on any one of the social media platforms, then you think about having some coaching sessions and a membership website. So this is another idea and now at the end of the video let's talk about how you can think about creating your own products. So I will tell you my story and in the similar manner you can think about your own experiences and skills. So when I was doing PhD at University of New South Wales in Australia, I was following a system of study and my PhD was in flying colors with 11 publications. And I think nine of them were on the best platform, which is IEEE. So I followed a very specific system for research and study. So I created a product for PhD students in which I just copied my system. And that product is called Digit Idea Diary 1. Similarly, when I successfully completed my drone pilot license, I got some experience flying drones. At that time, I learned that every drone must have a logbook. That logbook must be maintained. So I created a drone logbook. So I am selling this drone logbook successfully. So you might have done few courses. You might be experienced in any of the subjects. So think about this and then I think that you will be able to create your first digital product very soon. Similarly, I was very passionate about teaching mathematics. So therefore I created few math workbooks and worksheets. And at the end, I'm going to 
give you a very important tip and also I'm going to share one experience. The tip is that reviews are very important. Even your customer doesn't understand your product and gives you a bad review, you cannot reverse it. Let me show you my product and what happened. This is one of my products on Amazon and it is a workbook. But what happened is that one of my customers, although he acknowledged that it is a workbook, it is not a book, but still he gave me a very low rating. And if you read this review, you will understand that this is absolutely his fault that he did not understand the product. Although there were some pictures of the product as well, as you can see, I have uploaded these pictures. He must have seen these pictures. These are the pictures from this workbook and only 2% of the customers give you reviews. But the important thing is that if someone is upset with your product, they will definitely put the review. And if they are happy, most often they will not put the review. So this is very unfortunate. But the interesting thing is that this product is still performing very good. If you look at in algebra books and in math teaching books, this is quite high. Considering that there are millions of books on Amazon, these numbers are quite good and this workbook is selling on a weekly basis, one or two copies every week. So although I was unfortunate in getting a bad review, but most people like me did not agree with his review and the product is still selling. So don't get upset if your product is not getting good reviews because with the time you will learn few more things and with the time you will improve. The only important thing is that you must improve every day. So this is important that you learn from your mistakes. So I hope that I have explained few important things about digital products. Thanks for watching and see you next time.